Hey, what is up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the monastery set in Dark Souls 2. This is another ultra rare armor. This will be my final video in terms of ultra rare armor. I've done one for the ore set and one for the Katarina set. So there's three total and this is the final one. If you're going to do this, I highly recommend stacking as much item discovery as you can. Now we are at Adina's Keep and this is the second bonfire. It is an illusionary wall. It's between that staircase. I showed you the bottom so you can get an idea where it is. And here we go. Here's the red phantom. It's behind that painting right as you walk out. Now if you don't know about the monastery set, it's actually the painted guardian set from the last game. So it's really clever that they put it behind a painting. Now the painted guardian set in the last game was a really cool set. I never really liked the helmet, but the rest of it was definitely a really awesome set. And it looks really nice when you combine it with like other pieces. That's what I like to do. Alright, so I just got the shirt. So that is awesome. Now, after you kill this thing, you need to fight the boss. So, I'm just going to demonstrate me fighting the guardian dragon with soul geyser. I mean, that is insane! Absolutely amazing. Now, one great thing about doing this as well, if you're burning bonfire aesthetics to get this red phantom to respawn, you can always go down into that pool of acid and get another soul geyser. So if you notice, I'm getting more as I go. That's because I'm farming for soul geysers and stuff. Alright, so what I recommend to do to fight this thing is to actually back up into this room and let the painted guardian red phantom thing come into the room where you're at. And then once you do that, you can just simply run past that enemy. You don't want to hit that painting right there. I messed up. Generally, that won't happen, but if it does... Yes, you will aggro an enemy on you. And those enemies are really resistant to magic, so that really sucks. And this is going to get harder and harder as you go because you're going to be upping your new game or your bonfire intensity. So, I mean, it's a total pain in the ass. Now, if you want to make this a lot easier on yourself, trying to do this doorway strategy when you lure it into the room, I recommend using magic. I'm using Soul Geyser, Soul Spear. You could use Crystal Soul Spear. You could use a Great Lightning Spear. You could use just a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I don't know, Great Resonant Soul. It doesn't really matter, but you simply lure the Red Phantom into the doorway. And once you do, you just unleash your spells until the Red Phantom dies. And hopefully you will get lucky. Now, I might have screwed myself for my challenge run. Because I did this on New Game and I was burning Bonfire Aesthetics... When I get to this part for that challenge run, because if you guys don't know, I'm trying to do a challenge run a New Game Plus where I do not die and I do not light any bonfires and I'm using this character right here. So I mean it was a really bad decision to do that because when I get here it's going to be so challenging. Alright guys, well here's the armor right here. This is the Painted Guardian set aka the Monastery set. Really cool, not a big fan of the helmet, but the rest of it looks really badass. I really like to take the shirt and match it up with other items because I think the shirt looks really cool. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, will you please like and favorite the video for me and subscribe. I always appreciate that. It always helps me out. And be sure to check out my other ultra rare armor guides. I'll put links in the description and in the annotation if you guys want to go check those out. I really hope you guys have a nice day and poo so